Hello everybody and welcome to part 2. In this video I am playing uh, the game Tales of Majeal, which is a module of T-Engine 4. I am playing a human Archmage. So let's look at the character. This is the character sheet and you can see the attack the attack modifiers. So we have a a little bit of bonus damage, elemental and arcane. You can see the defense and you can see the different talents that we have. So I focused on flame and lightning for damage because these are uh, cheap spells that you can use. Uh, I still uh, have to level up because I killed uh, I kill the boss and bosses tend to give a lot of experience so I got several level ups I'm gonna put most points into magic because this increases spell power and spell power is essential for a mage and I have I, ca I can only increase uh, up until 29 you cannot increase this stat further until your next level so I have ex some extra points I can put them into willpower for extra mana and into constitution for extra hit points. But I'm gonna put one point into strength because I have an item that requires 11 strength. I also can increase some talents. I'm gonna increase flame and lightning because these are my primary my primary attack skills. And then I'm gonna put some generic points into shielding. This will increase uh, this would increase any kind of shield that I have, but uh, actually I don't have a shield right now because I'm playing uh, a Kornak human and I haven't found a shielding rune yet. But uh, so I'm just gonna wait until I have a shielding rune. Normally I would have a shielding rune and then I would take these skills because they have a very good synergy. But for now it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna increase my damage skills. And we're going to talk to the shady Kornak man. He offers us a quest uh, for the arena and he wants us to fight some of his uh, other fighters so let's do that this is a very good quest but you have to do it before you reach level 10 so um, I just used my lightning bolt and flame spells and I killed the halfling slinger one of the great things about this version of the game is that you can inspect creatures. You can also see what their, what talents that they have, their attack and defense, and so on. So this guy has rush. That means that he can, uh, he will probably try to rush me. If he gets close enough. He's burning right now. Almost dead. And yeah, we kill him. This is an arcane blade. We use the mana search rune to regain some mana. Well done, human. I knew you had potential. So for a mage, this quest is quite easy and the reward is quite wonderful because we get two additional generic talent points and we have some gold and we found the staff so let's move it to the normal inventory You can press the J key to watch the quests 
so I did the arena quest and uh, the spell blaze quest so now we have to go to the trollmire and to the runes of Corpu these are the runes but first we'll do uh, trollmire actually my level is already too high for it because this is going to be very very easy in fact it's going to be annoyingly easy so I'm just gonna rush through this So as you can see these enemies are really weak. And easy for me to kill. Oh yeah, heal costs 25 mana, which is actually quite a lot, so... This uh, dungeon also has three levels, so this is the second level. And we got another level up. Please help me, I'm afraid I am lost in this place. I know there is a recall portal left around here by a friend, but I need some help to make it there. Can you help me? Of course. And this is the Lost Warrior. So this is an escort quest, which is actually quite... Uh, rewarding. You can right click on a friendly NPC and you can give them some orders and we can order them to wait a few turns or ask them where is the portal. It's still far away to the northeast so it's gonna be somewhere up there. So that's good. Okay, let's put on a tactical display again for some reason it was off. Oh, and I still have to level up. So I'm gonna do that really fast. Add some points into magic. Up. And then um, we can choose to put it into constitution. And we're going to increase. Uh, we have two class points. Um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it right now, so I'm gonna keep it for now. And well, those generic points are going to go into shielding and arcane shield, but I can't use that right now. And I'm gonna put one point into, into teleport because teleport is always good if you have to get out of a bad situation. It has a minimum range range of 15, which pretty much guarantees that you'll get far enough to be at least well, not s maybe not safe 100%, but you have a good chance of getting away. Mm. So more monsters are coming from this direction. And you actually have to be careful not to hit the, 
the escort because they're kind of stupid and they will they will just charge at an enemy and they will just go stand in the way of your uh, attack spells and so on so again we're going to ask where is the portal so I'm gonna right click give an order it's close to the northeast so that's the portal now we have a choice to increase combat accuracy weapon mastery or we can uh, increase our strength by plus two which is a quite a useful bonus uh, even if I'm a mage sometimes you still have to uh, equip certain items and it's kind of useful if you have some strength so you can equip them this is also the final level so somewhere over here there has to be a boss so I'm gonna auto explore till I find it I got poisoned and again poisoned So I heal. and we just keep searching for the boss and there he is he was at the end of the road so I could just have followed the road but I don't think it really matters so let's uh, inspect the creature we can't see his talents apparently or he doesn't have any but I doubt that he doesn't have any but maybe he doesn't I could use my phase door rune but I don't think it really matters he's gonna die anyway 3, 2, 1 and he's dead so I got an amulet and I'm gonna identify it it's a light alum amulet so I'm gonna use the orb of scrying it's a feather steel amulet and this element uh, gives uh, minus 20 fatigue and fatigue is uh, something that you get from equipment and it makes you spend more resources so if something costs 10 mana but you have a high fatigue it will cost more than 10 mana so lowering your fatigue is actually quite good for a mage because it makes your skills less expensive if you have a lot of heavy equipment and I'm gonna recall because I don't think I can uh, do the special quest no I, d I haven't found all the lore so I'm just gonna recall out and in the next part I'll be doing the next dungeon which is a uh, corpus